Hi everyone, it's Saskia here from Los Angeles Skinny Feet Rescue. I'm here with Gustav, who's my little buddy today, to help me talk about ivermectin, which is really important. I This is a, a video long due. I mean, I was supposed to do this video two years ago, and I didn't, but I'm doing it right now. There is a lot of confusion about ivermectin, how to um, administer it, why we are using it, and um, you know, I've got some little interesting facts about it as well. So, okay, we have certain ways of, a, a few ways of administering it, okay? There is the injectable, but we do not inject it. These liquid bottles go, there's a little drop that goes on the ear. And if you come a little closer, I'm gonna show you, okay? So he's due for his ivermectin and I'm going to give him a little drop and you wanna come close and see exactly how much I'm putting on his ear. You just take one ear and you put, oh no, you were just staying so good. You were just being such a good boy that much okay and then what I do is I double the ear and I kind of go like that now that is his he is done for the next three months okay you want to do this for three months it's almost like your dog and your flea medications the same thing exactly the same thing now okay you go over here um, that this is the liquid and the injectable it's actually a veterinarian who taught me to do it this way you don't have to inject it and it's usually only used as a treatment for lice mites and internal parasites however we are using it also as a preventative and because of that especially the people that come here and a lot of people that watch the channel are familiar with it they do no longer have problems with lice and the mites which often will just come up they carry them with them and in times of stress it can all of a sudden get the overhand so that doesn't happen anymore okay but you want to make sure you give him the right dose now then there is the paste the ivermectin paste now look at this bottle look at this thing this is actually a horse paste and again this is a veterinarian who taught me this little trick if you just have a few guinea pigs this might be the way to go because it's cheaper even though I did have to pay 16 bucks for this one because there is such a shortage right now um, but with this paste, it looks like this, okay? It's, it's not just designed for horses, it's designed for all animals. We actually give it to the pigs. Um, and have a, have a quick, have a, come closer. Have a, have a closer look at this thing, okay? So this actually says 250 pounds if your horse is 200 pounds. So what you wanna do is you wanna kinda bring it to where you need to go so if your horse weighs a thousand pounds you are going to use all the paste push the plunger to 750 if your horse weighs 750 pounds so that is what you what you use you actually can normally you can kind of bring it back so you don't give too much but anyway so this you plunge it in its mouth until you reach the 750 pounds now guinea pigs do not weigh 750 pounds or 250 pounds they weigh a lot less so when I say pea size amount, this is what I mean. This is a pea sized amount, okay? This is a little bit that looks like a pea. And that goes directly in their mouth. Now I should have had another guinea pig to show you on how to put it in their mouth. I'm not going to put it in his mouth, but if you come closer, you can see how to do it. You will just, you can either hold your guinea pig like this and just, or wrap him up in a towel and you just kind of, I know you were eating parsley, you're really annoyed me. <laughs> and you just lift up his little head and you just pop it in like that. There, and he's not gonna bite you, okay? So let me just get rid of that, I'm not using it. But I wanted to explain that. These are flavored, but no more than that. Now, if you have a baby guinea pig, we do not give ivermectin to babies under three weeks old, okay? At three weeks, they get a teeny little drop, like, you know, less than half of what you just saw me give him. Um, it's a Japanese scientist who invented this 30 years ago, and his name is Satoshi 
Omara. That man won a Nobel Prize for inventing this drug because this is not for animals only, it is for people. Tropical diseases, tropical bacteria, parasites, it kills them all. It really does. It is an amazing, it is an amazing drug and I'm so grateful for it because we are able to, it is a treatment as well as a preventative for guinea pigs. Now, we sell it here. It is impossible to find right now. So I have scoured the globe because it is so important that we use this on our guinea pigs that I found, and I found it in a really good deal and it's absolutely 100% ivermectin, um, are these little bottles. <clears throat> and we sell them on the website for only 35 bucks, which is like an, an insane cheap amount compared to you know, for the other ones you're buying, you're paying like 60, 70 right now, I've seen even, for just a bottle this size. Now, when you buy it from us, it comes with this, comes with the, with the syringe, it comes with this, which is, you can actually, this is how you do it. You open it up and you'll see that there is this plastic. Now that it, plastic, you puncture the plastic, you then draw the ivermectin into the syringe and you only of course need a little bit and then when you're done you can just do this if you have a little ivermectin left you get a little top with it as well when you buy it from us as well as a information sheet as to how to do it what it is how often to use it in case of a preventative treatment and also when you are using it to treat an animal okay so that's all here. So yes, um, this paste does not go on the ear. And this is where people get a little confused. But the paste is for their mouth. It's usually flavored. Let me see, apple flavor. Mm. So it's flavored and that's because it's supposed to go in the mouth, okay? Uh, and it's cheaper usually than this. It's why when people have one or two piggies, I usually recommend these. These used to cost $3, uh, but those times have changed, all right? But I think I've covered everything. I think we, you now are aware how to use it um, um, and how much to use of it, right? That's why we don't have outbreaks anymore at the rescue since we started doing the preventative. Because it's so often when you have a big herd or a bigger herd, it, all of a sudden you get an outbreak of lice. Oh my gosh, they all got lice because it's so contagious. Or mange, you know, which are the little parasites that burrow under the skin that you can't see. Uh, they're microscopic, but they, oh my goodness, dude, they do a lot of damage. So yeah, and you are all protected. Are you still eating, buddy? Let's take another look at his cutie pie. I love him. Gustav was recently diagnosed with calcified bullet syndrome and he's got a little bit of a runny, runny nose or a crusty nose and that is from the calcified bullet syndrome. And I love him. And you're due for another haircut. You're due for another Saskia butt cut. Yes, you are. Okay, I hope this helps, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all and I hope you really all got you know, the information. If you have questions, leave them in the comments, okay? Mwah. Thank you. The lighting.